This is number 97 from the second book of Practical Studies by Getchell. Uh, it's part of the Arkansas All Region and All State Trumpet Set 3. Uh, on this one, it says Largo Espressivo. That's going to be slow, and you want to make it as pretty as you possibly can. Uh, if you've listened to any of my other videos, I talk about musicality. On this one, uh, you can actually change the tempo up a little bit more than the more mechanical pieces. You want this to be nice and pretty. Um, I would make it smooth. Uh, important thing on this one, um, making sure that the judges can tell which notes are tongued and which notes are slurred, but we also want it to be very smooth. Um, QE Moso, down in the third line, more motion, so we're gonna take that a little faster. Watch the retard and the end of the top line, and then we go back to the original tempo in the second line. Uh, you have a diminuendo in the third line and a retard. Uh, tempo one means you're gonna start at the tempo that you began at. Um, so, uh, let's break this up into a couple spots. I think probably the first two lines would be a pretty good tryout. Uh, I have used this a lot uh, in all region uh, tryouts, so you do need to be prepared to play this one. For those of you who don't know how to count three eight time, which I have gotten into, just like three four time, except that the eighth note gets a beat, sixteenth gets a half beat. So the beginning, one and three, one and three, one, two and three and one two just like that Now, I know there's not a retard there at the end, but if I was going to try out on this piece of music and that was a tryout, I would put a retard on there um, just because it makes sense to me musically and it might bump you up a point or two in the musicality score. Now, there is a possibility that you could go from the, uh, the second line to the third line for a tryout uh, to the end. So I'm going to start at the D in the fifth, line, uh, fifth measure of the second line. And that'll give you an idea of a transition you might want to do. And just hold that out as long as you can. Try not to let the pitch drop on that D sharp. Uh, we're going to start. I'm going to start uh, on the F. And no, I don't think. No, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to start at the F uh, in the third line and do a tryout there. But that, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm going to start at tempo one and go to the end. And this would be our third little chunk of the piece for a tryout.
So if you noticed at the end of that fourth line, I did a pretty strong retard. I know it's not written in there, but I needed to take a breath. And if you don't do the retard there, the breath seems awkward to me. I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, start the last two measures, and I'm going to take a breath there, and I'm going to show you what I mean. And it, it just doesn't make sense to me. But if you slow that down and you hold that G out, then it makes sense because you, you've ended the phrase and it, it just sounds prettier. I'm going to do it the, the first way. exactly like I wanted to do. So if you get in there and and you're doing a tryout and you need it and you know you're going to need to sneak a breath in somewhere, why not add some musicality to the, to the piece? Have a good full breath come in with a good solid uh, sound with good tone quality and maybe score you some extra points. So good luck with that.